All right, everyone, how's it going? Good afternoon. And I say good afternoon because I've managed to score a half day out of work. Um, yeah, what else am I gonna do but get on the get on the flow tube? I haven't got on it in ages, so this is gonna be the first session of the 21-22 season on the flow tube. Um, first proper pike session, that is. So I've got a mix of baits with me. Box of miscellaneous, I like to call that. I do have a few new lures from Savage Gear, which I might just uh, might just concentrate on and uh, see how we get on with that. But um, yeah, what else is there to do on a probably the last bit of decent weather we're going to get before it gets cold? So the water's really really cool. I can feel it on my legs. It feels like pike. Um, let's get going. See if we can get a big one. Okay, so we're going to start off with the line through line through roach the small one really really love the line through stuff anybody who knows anything about fishing would have came across these guys in various colors um normally that's not a color that i would go to first just with that dirty water just want to give that one a go right, they again you can bring these in really 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 slow just enough to put a bit of movement into the into the bait um setup that I'm using today you've seen this rod a good few times now and it's the Savage Gear SG2 power game it's the 7 foot 3 50 to 100 gram version um, and I really really love this rod for when I'm fishing on the float tube I think it's just nice and short and compact with plenty of power if you do hook into something sizable then that you can bully it it's not going to tow you about the lake but yet at the same time it's a reasonably light rod where you can cast small lures like this and and not really be a be a bit out of touch with it. You can still get plenty of sensitivity with it. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. So for those eagle-eyed viewers, the float tube's gone. <laughs> So I was on that lake for two, two and a bit hours and I lost that one small fish. So I made the decision, get the float tube, put it in the car really quick, drive about 25 minutes up the road, there's another lake, and uh, try and save the session. Um, I settled for anything at the minute, any fish at all I'll take. The, I didn't even have the right equipment with me. I had to literally throw a handful of lures into one of the, the boxes off the float tube. My rod, my pliers, I've got my scales, thankfully. But I've no tripod, I've no nothing with me. So unfortunately, if I get a big fish, it's gonna be terrible. Terrible, uh, well, uh, you, you usually get to see it. You just won't get to see me holding it from a, from a different angle, but what do you do? Well, we need to get one of those first, I suppose. Just make sure there's no bulls in the field. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can see if the decision with anything, anything at all. Back on the dock, very, very weedy bay. And I need a weedless presentation. You know, at this stage I'll settle for a, for a few takes on the surface, even if I don't catch anything. Very, very, very weedy. I don't like the wind blowing right on my face either. A 40 pound braid here and a 100 gram rod. And the off chance if you do hit into anything getting it through the through the lily pads it won't be an issue especially at this time of the year when they're really really weak and starting to die off did 
didn't expect it to be still as weedy in here to be honest this time. Okay, this feels a bit more like it. There, pike right in there. Exactly where I want to get you. Just need to be careful. Bit of a drop off here. And you could walk off it very handy. That was right over where he jumped. Come on, Mr. Pike. Can the ducky save the day? It's so thick. I'm not going to be able to use anything other than the frog or the duck, I don't think. Okay, I'm gonna stick, get the frog on. There we go. Mr. Frog's covered in teeth marks. There we go. There we go. Please stay on, Mr. Pike. Call him the back stinger. He is a tiny, tiny, tiny pike, and I don't care. If he comes off here, I don't even care either because I've no net because it was in the float tube. Back stinger, really well hooked. He wasn't shaking that hook. To... There we go, that minimized the damage. And a pristine, lovely, 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 lovely little pike. Thank you for saving the day. Gets in. Pike right in beside me there. Oh, I cannot tell you how happy that one pound pike has made me feel. <laughs> what a slog. Maybe a bit of a feeding spell, who knows? See if there's any more. Oh, that's just, that makes you feel so much better, such a relief. You know, you take a half day off and work. You get permission off the missus. Who's at home looking after a 10 week old baby. Who, by the way, is brilliant. Last night he slept all night for the very first time. At 10 weeks old. 
didn't get up once. Crazy. We're really, really lucky with this one. But um, yeah, so she's at home looking after him. So sometimes your time is just, well, sometimes you just don't have the time to do what you want. Time's up with my normal Monday to Friday job. The guiding as well, now you're coming into pike season, it's, it's really took off. Pike jumped over there. We're fully booked now more or less into November, so it's just absolutely hectic. Trying to find any sort of time now to make make videos for you guys. It's just, well, it's, it's proven to be quite difficult. Oh, there was a tech. Is he coming behind him? Is he going to go again? No, nope, but I know where he lives. Did he follow him in? No. Nope. I don't think it was a big fish. But it was right in front of me, so I know exactly where to go to get him. Yeah, there's a bow wave behind it, big bow wave behind it, big bow wave there, big, big, big. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Did you see that? <laughs> it's like something out of Jaws. <laughs> Bow wave went for ages. Is he still about? Come on. Very, very swampy spot here. I don't, I don't think I'll push, push my luck and, and go much further. Make a bit of room to reel. Oh, bow wave, bow wave coming, bow wave coming, bow wave coming. Come on, he's still there. No. Certainly getting a lot more interest with the frog. I scared him away that time. Is that it? No, he's coming. No, he's coming. No, he's coming. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> I actually seen him turn. 180. Oh, no, no. Come here, this road. You're going to get a bat. Oh. <laughs> what a take. Look at the state of my frog. He's completely destroyed it. Right now, you settle yourself, please. So there you go, bigger than the last one. What a take, what a fight. Look at my frog, the frog is absolutely destroyed. So seeing the bow wave of that coming first, never took it, cast out again over it, and I actually seen him turn 180 and hit it, right at, right in front of me. Awesome. So this is the, this is the mess he left my frog in. Don't even really know how you, how you fix this. Oh, is that? There we go. This frog has caught a serious amount of fish. And as I said earlier, it's it's got that many holes in it now it uh, it doesn't even float anymore. <laughs> you just have to keep draining the water out of it. But it still works as you've seen. 
boom. Well, <laughs> it was worth the gamble then, making the journey down here. I honestly thought I was going to blank, and obviously I don't post blanking videos. Well, not that I can remember. And uh, that was such a release, such a release of pressure you cannot describe. <laughs> but anyway, as usual, thank you for tuning in. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. We're doing so, so well. Channel's starting to grow. Um, the numbers have started to pick up again. It was a bit of a slow summer, obviously. Summertime, no pike, and, uh, and well, babies and whatnot. And uh, yeah, as I said, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you again on the next video.